we completely washed this house. This house is the video, the house where I made a video, instructional video of how to downstream, how to wash a house start to finish. And this is the house that was supposed to be washed. This is a big problem, completely unprofessional and embarrassing. Um, the homeowner emailed me. I do follow-ups after about a month or so. I stay, I, I email my customers. Um, it's all automated, of course, but email them and follow up with them. And um, Anyway, so I followed up with him and he's like, you know, I really wasn't happy with the house wash. It seemed like you guys were in and out of here really quick. My son didn't even know you were here. And uh, um, he, uh, they, there's still green on the home. I'm like, there's no way. There's, we would never do that. So I drove out here and I'm, I don't know how this happened, man. Ah, oh, drove out here and I, I'm, I see his address and, and we did the neighbor house, the house right next to it. So, stupid mistake. Um, if any of you guys can learn from it, man, make it part of your daily routine or your routine when you work, when you go to a job, that all the address, that you have some type of checklist, some type of like checklist in hand and you double check certain stuff such as the address and whatnot. That could have turned out really bad. It's uh, you can't just start washing people's homes without permission. Um, you know, of course, the house turned out great, and coincidentally, they're selling the house. There's a for sale sign up, so this was a win-win for the neighbor. But we could have, you know, moved something and broke it, and you know, we're technically trespassing because there was no permission given to be on that property. So we're gonna get it cleaned up. Now I've got to, sorry, I dropped my phone, I'm driving. Now I've got to do this other house wash. I got to wash this guy's house. Um, what's crazy is the, the neighbor's house, I had it wrong. I had it wrong even from the get from the estimate. I did the estimate on the neighbor's house that we washed. I don't know what happened, if the numbers, I'm dyslexic or what, but uh, I did an estimate for the neighbor's house, washed the neighbor's house, and, for, and I, the real house I was supposed to be looking at and washing, I just didn't even look at. So anyway, this is a $450 house wash. This is a $450 mistake. And it's really more than that because we wasted all that whole day washing a house, using chemicals, and uh, not getting... So this is a big waste. This is, this is really catastrophic, not cool. Hey everybody, John Lang, Wally Services. I know everyone's eager to see the trailer build. We're putting this thing to the test today. Uh, premium window cleaning, screen cleaning, gutter cleaning, and a house wash. We're gonna actually use this machine to help us flush the gutters, just cause we get the ball valve. Um, so what's cool is I have, it, I have the Quick Connect set up so that this, I can have the ball valve put here. So when we're doing the house wash, I'm gonna have the ball valve here and then the downstream injector after it. So then we can turn the ball valve, pop the downstream injector off, reconnect it and flush. And then we just wouldn't have a ball valve at the end of the hose. I'm probably gonna invest in a second ball valve. Um, that's what I've came up with that. Now someone else had commented on a, on a video talking about a bio, downstream injector bypass kit and I'm assuming that's that's something to do with to avoid that situation so it's, I'm gonna look into that I haven't really looked into what exactly that bypass kit does so it's just a simple setup you guys I got the two reels mounted down this is the supply hose I don't have I didn't get a um, hose for the reel yet so I'm just using extra hose I got um, this is that zero G it's the see how it's like a rope this is what I highly recommend for people because it's 5 8 and um, you can roll it up like a rope. Like if you know how to roll up a rope, not like an extension cord, but like a rope. And you can do that instead of investing in a reel if money's tight. Um, so then off the reel, I just got, I think it's like inch hose with the barbs. Boom, filter. Going up there to the Hudson valve. The tank's completely filled up. Um, 
high pressure hose. First 50 feet is this really thick half inch black hose and then it's connected to the normal uh, whatever, 3 8 power wash hose. Got the machine, remote fuel tank, it's nice. You can disconnect it and stuff. So like this morning I sent them to get fuel. They had three five gallon gas cans and that. It was nice because I had the trailer, so that's cool. And then uh, this is an inch and a half hose. So this makes a huge difference. Um, this needs to be fixed though. I have a drip, so I have to order a part because I couldn't find one at my local supply store to plumb this off of the tank. I tried this sleeve, it's like a rubber sleeve, but it just didn't work, unfortunately. Uh, the banjo, I think they even got to tighten those a little bit. I put some type of, put a little more sealant on there. Uh, that blue hose is just a little ball valve to like wash your hands, fill up buckets, whatever. And that's it. So we still got to get a chem tank put put together. Um, I want to get a ladder rack mounted on it. And yeah, we're going to put this thing to the test. It's a good size home. I got to get started on the premium window, or the window cleaning, but just wanted to get everybody set up out here. Hard worker right here. We'll be cleaning windows in the rain, finish this house wash. Colt, Colt did the house wash in the rain, cleaned the, all the exterior windows in the rain. I was inside, but I mean, I'm getting wet now. But uh, we had to get this done, so we worked in the rain, didn't we, mine? Oh, yeah. You want to, oh! That was a weird feeling. What'd you do? This pin, like, I was wheeling it and that pin, like, hit my wrist. It was like the funny bone of the wrist. <laughs> um, all right, go ahead and load that up. Let's get the hell out of here. Why did you just have me do it at all? <laughs> because that's what I pay you for, you goddammit. <laughs> wash done pretty quick though thing is you got to get used to that eight gallon per minute machine big like it's because it's like so much water you got to get used to like standing you gotta stand far away you can't hit the house with too much pressure so it's almost easier to learn on a four gallon per minute machine than the eight I don't know eight with the eight was nice right what's that that eight gallon a minute machine oh yeah I think it's a, he wasn't too it's hard. A real beaut. It's a real beaut. Oh yeah. She's a real. She's a real beaut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'll meet you back at the shop. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you. Cool. Later. Bye. Here we go, man. Hey, what's up, everyone? Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You already know. Um, I'm just chilling, watching some Sons of Anarchy on Netflix. But listen, that job I had in the clips, that turned out to be a two-day job. I priced it to be a one-day job with like three or four people. Um, lady was very meticulous. So and we had some things, some issues, but it happens. Um, what else? There's some other stuff I wanted to say. Oh, the other the house wash. We're gonna be having. To, we're gonna have to wash the guy's house for completely free. Um, but listen, this is this is kind of what I, it, I think it's really important to have customer factor, or if not, maybe some other thing. But I know customer factor works well for me. You can pro, set up automated follow up emails. So after a certain number of days, I have like three or four automated emails. One is shortly after the job, like a week. One other one is like a month. And then another one is like a month after that. And then sometimes I just send emails just saying, hey, what's up? Anyway, after my second follow-up email with this customer, so after a month or a month and seven days, he decides to tell me he actually wasn't happy with the house wash. And it turns out we didn't even wash his house. So could you imagine if I didn't follow up with this guy? I would have never known that we washed the wrong house. And who knows what kind of ties this guy has. He could go around saying talking all sorts of bad stuff about my company or eventually leave a poor review because we literally didn't even touch his house it amazes me he didn't say anything sooner but 
Regardless, customer factor might be something to think about. Thanks for watching. Sorry I haven't posted in a few days. It's been very crazy um, these past few days. Um, and that's about that. Hope you all have a great weekend.